Uh, thank you for inviting me at this conference. Uh, I will talk about the French environmental code, which is uh, protecting avenues and which has been protecting avenues since 2016. Uh, it was supported. Yes, it was supported by 18 major French professional and volunteer organizations acting in the field of heritage, in the field of gardens, in the field of landscape, and in the field of environmental protection, but also three uh, professionals. Uh, for instance, ICOMOS uh, France, uh, French, uh, Friends of the Earth France, uh, and so on. The, the uh, Landscape Federation, uh, Federation of Landscape Architects, too. What does this uh, article uh, state? It states that three avenues and three roads along the sides of ways of communication constitute a cultural heritage and a source of amenities in addition to their role in the preservation of biodiversity and for this reason shall be afforded special protection. This article introduces a general pr principle of protection for avenues and for tree rows along ways of communications, so along paths like this one, or along streets, along roads, and along canals, be they public or private. This uh, protection has a threefold justification. Avenues are cultural asset, they support biodiversity and they provide amenities. And you said this already many times this morning and I was really impressed by how you integrate these three aspects in your projects. They are of course a cultural asset linked to the history of gardens from the 15th century onwards. Here we have on the top um, an avenue at the Palais Royal Garden in Paris, and uh, uh, beneath we have the German touristic route Deutsche Alleenstraße. They are a um, cultural set that fosters a um, feeling of identity. This avenue pattern has been spread all over Europe and beyond, and for instance, the <coughs> European avenues have inspired the planting of memorial avenues, uh, for instance, in Australia. This is a picture from Australia after World War I. Their specific world for biodiversity was highlighted already, and uh, we can see here it is important for habitats. It is also important as corridor. Concerning amenities, of course, tree avenues are a major feature in our landscapes and they contribute to the well-being of people. And they play an important role uh, for the environment, in particular as regards uh, heat islands, depollution or heat uh, regulation. You know all this very well. But what are the implications of the French environmental code? The protection uh, shall be interpreted as conserving, min maintaining trees, and promoting trees. So, um, we have to keep old trees. This is a picture from Sweden where old trees are kept, but also uh, gap plantings to renew it. Uh, renew it with a, with a complete uh, rows of uh, new trees. Uh, promote promote um, avenues, as for instance on the 20th of October for the European Avenue Day. There are specific consequences, of course. If we want to keep the trees, we have to um, uh, not to fell them. Don't felling, damaging, jeopardizing the conservation or radically modifying the appearance of one or more trees in an avenue is prohibited. No felling, no uh, damaging, and no uh, jeopardizing, as uh, we can see here or here. Examples for France. Or no uh, cuttings, which, which will also um, uh, damage the trees in the long term. 
Of course, there are exceptions because you can't just fix things in the landscape forever. Uh, where there is a problem of uh, safety, danger due to health or strength problems, uh, or health hazards for other trees, and when there is a loss of overall aesthetics, but at the condition that you can preserve biodiversity by other means, then you can retain the trees. But uh, in any case, you have to prove that, that the action you will do was necessary. Derogation uh, may also be granted for a construction projects. So if you uh, fell or damage a tree, this gives uh, a rise to local offset measures in planting and uh, theoretically in financial uh, securing the maintenance. Planting like this, this is in Luxembourg. One point in article uh, L350-3 uh, deserves special attention because it is uh, groundbreaking, at least in France, but I think in other countries too. The fact that road safety is no longer a valid reason for felling. Um, we know that forgiving roadsides where you don't have any obstacles in the safety zone or you shield the um, up obstacle by crash barrier is something which is, has been implemented uh, um, for a long time. And this is one of the major problems in the preservation in three avenues, at least in France, but also in other countries. Uh, because if you have uh, so-called safety zones, which are four meters wide or seven meters wide, or even 10 meters wide, uh, you fell the trees and then you can't plant them anymore. If trees are very close to the street, you can't uh, put uh, crash barriers in front of them because the working distance of the barrier is not, is not granted. So um, the problem is that uh, most of the time, the road managers do not own the land to plant further away from the, from the edge as here somewhere in France. That was in France, um, as I told you, this um, is a real problem and some counties have, had, uh, have lost nearly half of their uh, trees over the, the last years because they couldn't, they couldn't uh, plant away from, from the board road uh, side. This um, was uh, acknowledged finally by many people, not necessarily uh, by all road managers, but um, the fact that tree rows and tree avenues play an important positive role in the behavior of, uh, of drivers, and that there is no um, correlation between the risk in a specific county and the number of roadside trees, which you can see on this, on this uh, graphic. Some um, of our county um, councils plant on the verge again, accounting for the fact that uh, they take account of the new um, results in the uh, research about road safety, and also in the fact that the uh, cars and driving systems will also change to more automatic driving. Uh, are we completely satisfied with uh, what, um, uh, what we have in this law? Uh, there are some uh, shortcomings in the French law. Uh, for instance, the initial text, uh, uh, the bill provided for sanctions in case of uh, unlawful felling or damaging or altering the appearance of avenue trees. And it also provided for an implementation decree but unfortunately, they have disappeared in the final text of the law. We would, of course, have preferred it if it had not. Because, for instance, uh, the law comprises no clear definition of what should be considered as an avenue. So that on this uh, picture, you can see a single uh, cherry tree here. There are some others in the, in the back. And this was an avenue. So how can you be sure that road managers will not overlook the fact that isolated trees 
are often remnants of an avenue and should be protected as such. There is also no defined authority to deliver derogations. And there is another problem, the conditions for compensation have not been detailed. Uh, is this a dead end? Uh, not really, because uh, the law um, is completely in line with a paper published by the Council of Europe in 2009, presented in 2009, uh, which uh, outlines the history of uh, three avenues and their benefits, but draws uh, uh, inspiration from good practice identified in several countries to map out an efficient conservation policy. And this document makes a series of uh, recommendations which uh, the French code sticks to. So, um, as this article in the French environmental code uh, follows this white paper from the uh, Council of Europe, one can always refer to this uh, paper from the Council of Europe where details seem to be lacking. For instance, um, concerning the definition of the object to be protected, the white paper states that this protection must apply to all tree-lined roads comprising single or double rows of trees, complete or fragmentary. Concerning when to fell, the white paper mentions that restructuring a tree by pruning rather than cutting it extends its lifespan and costs less, which exemplifies the general objective of the French Environmental Code, Article L350-3, and the necessary proportional uh, uh, reduction of the danger. For instance, one should not necessarily cut down a tree when removing de dead branches is sufficient to guarantee safety. Concerning how to make compensations, it is quite obvious that if the trees planted as compensations are not uh, planted in the avenue, this will lead in the long term to the disappearance of the avenue, which is uh, in contradiction with the uh, requirement of preserving uh, the linear structure which is provided by the French Environmental Code. Uh, the f white paper uh, underlines this risk and uh, states that only an effective policy of gap filling, as we can see it here in, in town, which is quite um, regular practice in towns in France, but not in the countryside. So what only an effective policy of gap filling can guarantee the conservation of tree-lined roads, which we can see also in Denmark here and which does not preclude, preclude, of course, the planting of complete new avenues here in Luxembourg. Yes, uh, there are some shortcomings, uh, but as a matter of fact, this article in the law has already helped to stop some fellings. As for this row of uh, plane trees along uh, a street bordering the Loire in Gien. To finish, I would like to point out a specific a specificity in this article which has consequences on the management of trees and tree roads. The fact that the French protection is based on three dimensions, culture, uh, biodiversity and amenities, three dimensions which are inherent to tree avenues and which cannot uh, be isolated from one another. As a matter of fact, um, taking into account the three dimensions must guide all actions and applies systematic trade-offs. Uh, in France at least, and, but uh, as I could hear this morning, uh, you are happy to, to do this, um, to, to join uh, the different values to appraise um, avenues, but in France, it's no more common practice to take into account different aspects. So the road managers manage roads and do not know anything about uh, trees or culture. Environmentalists uh, uh, know about biodiversity, landscape architects uh, about landscape, and they do not work together. So now with this law, there 
will be uh, forced to, to do it. Uh, I will mention um, the work accomplished in Sweden, and maybe Patrick will, will uh, talk about it too, where in Sweden where avenues have been protected for uh, many years now. The national agencies in charge of heritage, environmental protection and roads, together with the University of Agronomy and public managers, have worked out a guidebook which has, was published in, published in 2014. And it provides an interesting approach in 10 steps uh, to the necessary trade-offs between culture, uh, biodiversity and amenities which they call social aspects. So trade-offs which are necessary when you manage trees in public spaces. The first steps are really usual practice, but taking into account the three dimensions, cultural, biological and social, appears starting from step five, which consists in collecting information and appraising the global setting of the avenue uh, for each of these three aspects. In step six, um, the stakeholders decide what dimension or dimensions of this specific setting should be given priority. And if more than one dimension is ranking high, then they proceed to step seven, which comprises a more thorough appraisal of the setting, but also of the structure, the avenue, and of each tree in the structure. And this is followed by other steps which consist in checking the wiggle room left by applicable regulations, uh, discussing the results of the appraisal and deciding what should be prior prioritized. And a final step which consists in determining the most suitable action to support the values considered as priority and taking, of course, into account the constraints, the um, environmental constraints, the const economical constraints and the objectives. And this is done um, using checklists. They have for each step uh, checklists. Here, for instance, for step number seven, and just for the setting, um, some uh, points for the cultural aspects, for the biodiversity aspect, and for the social aspect. So that was the presentation for the French environmental protection of tree evidence. Thank you. <laughs>